so far we have seen a simple arrangement of pulleys so basically we use two pulleys and we could magnify the effort we were applying to lift the load by two so our mechanical advantage was two now we are going to look for arrangement which will give us a higher mechanical advantage so here we use more pulleys this arrangement is called tackle block it consists of two blocks of pulleys one is fixed like this so here we see three pulleys fixed together and uh, there is another block of pulleys set of pulleys which is movable and the load is attached to that set of pulleys and then around these two blocks there is a single rope going round and round so at one end of that rope the effort will be applied and then that rope is made to pass through a fixed pulley then it comes down to a moving pulley goes up to a fixed pulley comes down to a moving pulley so it keeps going back and forth back and forth like that till one of its ends is secured to one of the blocks it could be the fixed block or the movable block depending upon the number of pulleys we have of course these pulleys need not be of different size as i have shown here they could be of the same size mounted on the same axis but rotating independently i have shown them of different size so that we can see the rope going back and forth between these two blocks more easily now let us see how this moves so here the effort is coming down and the load is rising up that's why we use simple machines to raise a load overcome it uh, you can see that the effort is moving very fast while the load is moving slowly upward that's the price we pay in all simple machines when we magnify the force we magnify the effort to overcome a large load we will have to sacrifice on speed by the way this ratio of speeds a speed of effort to speed of load is called the velocity ratio that's the price we pay and what we get out of it we get mechanical advantage the magnification of force let us see how much magnification we are getting for that we are going to isolate this part of our machine namely the movable block of pulleys the load and the pieces of rope that are holding them up now mind you i said isolate and not chop off if we really cut off the ropes like this the whole thing will simply drop down because of its weight but since it is held in place there must be a upward force acting on it now where could that be that could only be where it makes the contact with the rest of the system and that is these ends of the ropes which are now exposed and exposed along with that are the forces inside and what is inside a rope of course tension and it will be acting upward like this on all these pieces of ropes now we don't know that tension yet but if these pulleys are frictionless enough smooth enough then the tension on one side of uh, the rope here will be passed by the pulley to the other side as it is now we have used the same piece of rope going round all these pulleys and since there is no loss of tension within the pulleys the tension in the entire length of the rope will be identical and therefore these six tensions that we are seeing here will all be equal and how much they will be well they will be equal to the effort that we are applying at one end of that rope so these tensions are nothing but the effort itself and now you can see that this effort is getting magnified six times so in just one sixth the effort we will be able to overcome the load and therefore our mechanical advantage is six and finally the velocity ratio suppose the load moves by some amount let's take some arbitrary distance say this much then all these six segments of rope will shorten by this amount and therefore the total rope that will be paid out to move the effort will be this much so if load moves by this amount effort will move by six times that length and therefore the velocity ratio or a ratio of displacement of effort to load will be 6 we can easily get it just by counting the number of ropes that are supporting the load